Hey everyone, how's it going? It's James. I'm back again. I have another tutorial for you this week. This one's a bit of a longer one about tips and best practices for tagging and exporting cohorts into your CRM. So now before we start, I want to answer a pivotal question, which is why should we tag our contacts in our cohorts on a weekly basis? Now there's two main reasons for why we want to do that. The first one is we want to keep a historical record of what week and what filters kind of formed the cohorts and so that we can keep track of them once they enter our CRM from Zoom Info and that a month or two down the line after the initial export date, uh, we can still keep track of exactly where they came from and a bit of information attached to the contact. That way is that if you get any wins and you're trying to kind of dissect what might have happened, you can look back and be like, oh, both of these contacts were from the same cohort what else about that cohort made it successful. Uh, so things like that, just keeping track of cohorts is ideal uh, for the long game in sales programs. And then the second reason is that tagging is the only bulletproof way to make sure we aren't double dipping and messaging the same contact twice. So we'd highly recommend the tagging also to kind of counter any human error that might occur when reaching out, just cause you wanna make sure you're only hitting someone once uh, even though mistakes are made, but the best practice today will definitely help you eliminate any of those issues. So let's get into the tutorial. So for the tutorial today, let's say my company um, sells supply chain management software and we are industry specific to uh, appliance manufacturers, US-based appliance manufacturers, because my, my hypothetical company is US-based and usually you're more successful working domestically. So that's what I've gone for. You can see my filters at the top. We have appliance manufacturers as my main industry, and then also revenue above a billion dollars, just because my software is super expensive. So they need to make enough money to be able to afford me. And then also the final one is that they're just US based, which if we're looking at the companies here, uh, just tab over really quick. So 34 companies fit my filters. And some of these you might see are based out of other countries. Uh, and the reason for that is that they have US offices, which I can also use, which fit within the filters. So overall, 34 companies that meet what I'm looking for. Now I want to find contacts that fit the bill for my sales program. So if I tab over to contacts, which you just saw, I am targeting anyone with the keywords supply chain in their job title, just because I'm selling supply chain management software. Uh, the decision makers likely also work within the supply chain department. And then to partner with that, I'm looking at both manager and director roles. Since we're dealing with large enterprises, usually VPs and C-suite don't really have um, the time of day to kind of give you any sort of response via email. But the director and manager role is kind of the perfect fit of decision-making power and also interest within a cold email sequence or calling. Uh, but yeah, we have 200 contacts that fit what I'm looking for and 34 companies. So now what I wanna do is I wanna tag all of them up. So I'm gonna start over here at the contacts and I'm just gonna click on the tag button. So now best practices for naming conventions and name structures for cohorts is I like to start with at whatever week they came from. So at the time of filming, it is week 22 and now just a bit of information from my cohort their appliance manufacturers us based and a billion dollars in revenue uh, so yeah this name structure is basically week number and then <clears throat> any information uh regarding the filters so if you remember my three filters were appliance manufacturers us based and a billion dollars in revenue i have all those three things here so that later down the line, once these contacts are in my CRM, I can see exactly what I use to craft the cohort at a glance. And if I ever need sort of a more in-depth look, I can come back into Zoom Info, populate my tag, and then look for uh, more commonalities. But yeah, so that this looks good to me. Of course, I would highly recommend experimenting and finding naming conventions that work best for you. And of course, adopting whatever filters you're using for your search in the tag. But this works for me and for this tutorial, 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and click add since it's a new tag. And then once the tag has been successfully added, as you'll see here in the bottom left, oh, whoops, tag has disappeared. So I'm just gonna grab that back, click on it and then tag them all up. So yeah, we're adding this tag to 201 contacts. Looks good to me. You're gonna get this little confirmation message now. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm just gonna click cancel, uh, just cause this isn't, this isn't a real scenario, but you in your case would click yes to apply the tag to all the contacts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, once your contacts are tagged up, you're just going on tab over to companies and do the exact same thing. So you're just gonna click tag companies, enter the same thing. So week 22, Clients, spelled that wrong. Clients, US, 1 billion. All right, so they have the exact same tag on the company level and the contact level. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Click add <clears throat> and then click tag and apply these to all the companies. Again, I'm just gonna cancel out, but you're gonna click yes. So now once you have your contacts and your companies all tagged up, you're going to want to begin the exporting process. So now to export out, I would highly recommend you start by exporting companies first and then contacts. And the reason for that, I'll explain in a second, but to export, you're just going to see this big blue export button at the top and make sure that the icon next to the word export matches up with whatever CRM you're using. Uh, you can change that by clicking the drop down. And if your CRM doesn't appear here, that's likely an integration problem, which you can uh, problem solve within the admin portal. But yeah, so once you have your CRM hooked up and the icon visible, you can just go ahead and click export. You're gonna get kind of a similar message where it's like, are you sure? Do you wanna export the companies? You're gonna click yes, I am just gonna cancel out. So you're for you, when you click yes, you're gonna kind of get a little waiting message where it's like, wait for companies to export and you're just gonna to wanna to stay tabbed into this page and wait until that processes and you get a little uh, green tick mark and a message that 34 companies were successfully created or updated in your CRM. And then I'll also recommend you double check by going into your CRM and uh, the company records and just making sure that those pulled through with the company tag. So once your company is in your CRM, now you can go ahead and export the contacts. So I'll just tab over here to contacts. And the reason why you wanna do companies first and then contacts is just, um, the problem is, is that if you were to do the opposite and export contacts first, uh, the way Zoom Info kind of creates the record in, uh, in your CRM is by matching up the contacts to the company, not vice versa. So if you put the contacts in first, they're not gonna know where to go and it's not going to be as accurate um, so you'll basically just have kind of a mix match list of lost contacts that don't know what company they're attached to but if you export the company record first and create the companies then zoom info will have an easier time matching up the contacts to their respective company so that's just a best practice i would recommend doing that every time uh, and then yeah so now to export the contacts we're going to do the exact same thing make sure the icon matches Click the blue export button. You're gonna get the same message. I'm sure you wanna export them. Again, I'm clicking no, you're going yes. And you're gonna get a little message saying waiting to export contacts. Uh, just sit on this page for a couple minutes. Usually doesn't take too long. Uh, but then once you get kind of the green light and the records were successfully created, then you should be all good to go. And you can begin enrolling